love is Samaria Shanti for show. Hi, my name is Trinity. What up, man? It's real. Hey, y'all, it's your girl Tyler. Oh, my name's Amaya. And this is Mental Health. The mental illness we are discussing in this video is depression, medically known as major depressive disorder. Major depressive disorder is a mood disorder that causes a persistent feeling of sadness and loss of interest. Known symptoms of this disorder are feelings of loneliness and emptiness, feelings of worthlessness and guilt, anxiety, frequent thoughts of suicide, lack of sleep, and lack of appetite. But there are some symptoms people aren't familiar with that is associated to depression. Angry outbursts and irritability on small matters, loss of interest in most of normal activities, sleeping too much and eating too much, slow body movements, and unexplained physical problems. Uh, a lack of support system. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like the younger adults need motivation. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all ain't got that right motivation, then y'all gonna feel that depression, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's about giving y'all what y'all want to. You know what I'm saying? Like, a younger person might want to play football growing up, but if the parents not able to, you know, give that younger person the ability to play football, then that person might go in depression, you know what I'm saying? Because that's something they really want to do and they can't do it, you know what I'm saying? So. The lack of parenting. I think that as parents, we are not uh, paying enough attention to our babies at an early stage. Um, and everything presents itself at that time. So if you don't identify it, you have a 40-year-old person with 40-year-old issues that should have been remedied when I was a child. Um, some A cause of depression in young adults and teenagers is like a lack of stress, I mean, stress and like a lack of knowing what's actually going on in the real world since you're going through a lot of changes that's mainly probably a big cause of depression what i think are some causes is bullying inside of school like picking on them because of how they look or what they do inside of school like in terms of book smarts and all that i mean everybody's different so you can't address everybody the same exact way you have to go at people different ways because they're going to respond differently and they act differently and their depressions are caused by many different things. So it really all depends on the person. I feel like it depends on the adult and how they were raised because my mom in particular doesn't really understand what I go through because like my she wasn't going through the same stuff that I did and I don't have a dad around to understand what I've been going through. Do you think people can see your depression underneath your happiness? Um, depending on the person, because I'm a very outgoing, friendly person. And so I always seem as if I'm having fun and I'm being nice. But some people may see, oh, he's acting off, he's acting different. So they may be able to see that, oh, he's not the same. He's probably going through something. Because I get that a lot, that every time maybe I'm not feeling good, somebody will come up and say, oh, something's wrong with you. And, like, I won't be showing it per se, but it just happens. It depends on the person, too, because, like, I don't like to open up about my feelings and stuff like that because I feel like it makes me so-called weak. Okay, last question. Um, can you describe or uh, can you define depression in your own words? I feel like depression is when you grow through something and you feel sad or hurt about a situation and you can't really change it? Uh, I don't think so because I try to keep the same face all the time. You know, so people don't think I'm going through something when I actually am. Um, do you believe that um, depression goes down like in history, like every generation people go through depression based off what their parents have went through? Yeah, because I feel like the parents try to, ex they be like, uh, I do this so you don't have to go through this. And I feel like that's making the kid not appreciate the parent as much. And 
when they go through those type of things, they feel like their parent has failed them in stopping them from depression. There is so much that we don't know about depression, like how people get it or if it is biologically transferred through genetics. If anyone you know or you are suffering from depression, you can get personal help or call these hotlines. What might trigger you to build up a lot of stress? Um, not releasing it, not releasing my stress when it has to be, or losing games, having coaches tell you that you did something wrong and not explaining what. How do you deal with it? Sometimes it's hard. You, um, in volleyball season, I know I would just go and hit the ball on the wall real hard. Okay. <laughs> or, push myself harder so I wouldn't make the mistake again. Um, I read in an article that over 500 teens a day attempt suicide. Why do you think that so many of us try this? Peer pressure. Peer pressure? What kinds of peer pressure? You know, like, um, I don't know, trying to influence you on taking drugs and then, you know, when you get hooked up and, you know, then you get kicked out your house or something, wanting to make you, like, do something crazy, like go out and kill yourself. Mm -hmm. A lot of times it's family problems. Yes. Yeah. People have family <coughs> problems and teens can't deal with this because uh, most adults don't understand kids and don't understand their needs. And so. some, you know, it's because of problems, you know. Some, you know, they just want an easy way out. Yeah. You know. And then there's love relationships too, like they'll get pregnant and the guy leaves home and everything. A lot of problems. I feel that, I mean, there's so many problems that affect us today. <coughs> You know, we have more freedom to do what we want than kids 30 years ago. I mean, the suicide rate uh, in teenagers has tripled since the 1950s. And I feel that there's so much we have to deal with. We need outlets to go to, you know, to kind of help solve our problems. 